100 days ago, I set up these two mini greenhouses to grow some of my favorite aquarium plants in. When you think of growing aquatic plants, your mind may instantly be drawn to a setup involving water, but not many know that most of your favorite aquarium plants can also be grown immersed, meaning outside of the water. But before we find out how well these mini greenhouses worked, we have to go all the way back to day one. It all started when I collected these two plastic tubs, some seedling soil, some hydroponic fertilizer, and a light to help all these plants to grow. I went ahead and filled both the tubs with a thin layer of soil, only about an inch thick. After this, I wet the soil down with pure rainwater to make it suitable for the plants we wanted to grow. Then it was time to add our plants. For these greenhouses, we went ahead with two main types of plants. One tub with stem plants, and the other with plants with a rhizome. I expect these guys to grow a little slower. I put cuttings of our stem plants on the surface of the soil. These should grow roots and settle into the soil themselves. And I buried the stems of our rhizome plants into the soil. This will allow them to dig their roots deep into the soil bed and access all the nutrients. I then gave them a quick spray down with rainwater and fertilizer, and sealed the lids to let them grow. On day five, we already had some growth, particularly on the cuttings of our stem plants, where all of our cuttings were sending out new buds that will hopefully turn into new leaves. Some of them even have new roots. Our rhizomial plants are a little more slow to grow, with only a few of our cuttings starting to send out new leaves. Two weeks after the initial setup, we saw some amazing results. With all of our stem plants growing some new leaves, they still have a ways to go, but their growth is starting to look good. Over in our rhizomial greenhouse, things are a little different. They are growing, but the growth is much slower. Some of these plants have new leaves, but some of the others are still working on developing their root systems. It's now been a month since we set up these greenhouses and we're starting to see some real significant growth. All of our rhizomial plants have new leaves and have developed their deep root bases into the soil substrate. Our stem plants are doing even better, developing tons of new leaves and roots. They have grown much quicker than the rhizome plants and have all started to turn into little baby plantlets. It's really amazing to see the differences between the two types of plants. I gave them both another quick spray down and left them to grow. By day 100, we saw some really incredible results. Both of our tub greenhouses had turned lush, filled with tons of new plant growth. Our stem plants had grown wild, covering the entire substrate of the greenhouse with new growth. They have grown quite significantly and are perspiring tons of moisture, which is misting up the greenhouse and trapping in heat. Our rhizome plants are growing well too, with all of them showing significant signs of growth and even a few developing little baby plantlets. They have grown immense root systems filling the entire substrate of the greenhouse. It is obvious from the results that they are much slower growing than the stem plants. But this mini tub greenhouse seems to do the trick and has grown all of the plants really well. For under $50 spent, I think we did pretty well in setting up some really cool greenhouses. Thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one.